This uh, video shows an um, introduction on uh, how to start using the network analyst features in uh, ArcGIS. Um, the first thing you need uh, to even start doing any network analysis in ArcGIS is a line layer with your roads and this line layer can come from different sources of course in this example I have downloaded um, the property map from the Swedish cadastral services to, through the SLU get um, tool here at SLU uh, that would be then fastighetskartan in Swedish all uh, maps from this from the Swedish cadastral services includes road layers and we have have uh, we have the uh, pro property map which I would use here then we have also the topographic map or terrain carta in Swedish uh, the road map in Swedish terrain carta and also översiktskartan or the general map that would be the English name. All in vector data, note. No raster data can be used here. So here we have the property map, uh, delivery and um, unzipped. So we have um, some uh, fo folders here where, where in clip result we would have the, the shape files. I will now shift to ArcGIS um, and we will have, have a look at the feature data set there. So here is, this, is the, the, uh, of the delivery and we have the um, shape files displayed now in the catalog window in ArcMap. Um, and in this delivery uh, there are, are two uh, shape files that contains uh, roads we have the VL shape file, that is we have the letter combination VL in the shape file's name here. There we have roads for vehicle transports, different kinds of roads. And the other shape file, there is another shape file with a VO in the shape file name. And that uh, shape file contains other roads, and that is roads uh, not for vehicle transport port. And that can could be um, walking paths, uh, bicycle paths, um, and such. Could be important depending on what what you would like to uh, analyze, e either transport by vehicle or transport by walking or bicycling. In this case, uh, I or in this example, I, I would simply use the order, ordinary road layer or road shape file. And what, what you would like to do here is not using the original da the data um, so because it, it might be the case that you would like to change or add or remove things in this line layer. So the first thing we do is just a copy. We right click and choose copy on this shape file, the VL one. And I will have then create a new folder. Uh, I call it envy work, some, something like this. And I simply right click on the new folder and then choose paste. And here we have a new, or yeah, new shape file. Only the shape file with the, with the road. Here I would like to change the name of the shape file because it's far too long to be nice to work with. I simply call it um, MV lines like this. Yeah. And if we add it here, we can have a quick look at it. I, I, I increase the contrast, the size of the lines a bit like this. So here is the road network, just simply displayed as, as, as uh, with, the, with the single symbology 
it's an area just just north of the uh, city center in Uppsala. Uh, we will begin with having a look in the attribute table here. Uh, we have a few fields. One of the more interesting fields that we can find here now is this one. The tally type in Swedish would be detail type. In English, it's the type of road. If it's a, um, it, it 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 has uh, different categories, all from from small uh, gravel roads up to uh, 110 kilometers per hour highway roads. And this 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 uh, field would could be interesting to use in case you would like to model uh, driving at different speeds on roads. Um, anyway. Here, what what you would like to have here is some field that would describe the cost of traveling on this road. Um, I would I will explain this a little bit uh, soon, a little, little bit more soon. But first, we, we we click the menu button on the attribute window and choose add field. So we will create a new field and we call it cost. And for type we use double. So this is a value field. We, we can put in now any value from 0 0.3 to 64,000 or something like that. So we just click OK. So here we have the new field called cost initiated by the uh, values 0. And what what we could begin with putting in this field is simply the length of the uh, roads or, or the road parts, so, so to speak. These are all lines in these ta ta tables. This table. So if we click here, we can see that there are 452 lines that will um, uh, that is used to build up the road network. Um, and for the cost field, now in this example, we just use the length of each individual road. And this is quite easily done. We just right click on the field name where it says cost and we choose calculate geometry. It warns you a little bit, but we can just click yes because we know what we do. And what, what we would like to have here is the length. So the length is the property choose chosen as default have a look here we can choose other things also if we would like to but length is is, is quite right in the coordinate system field can you also just leave it um, as it is it will use it it, it will create a sphere of 99 um, uh, it will use the sphere of 99 uh, coordinate system uh, for units it says meters uh, we might consider using kilometers might be better so we just change here to kilometers and um, well this is an option calculated select, selected records only we can uncheck that I think that was because I actually selected one of the records so well now if we just click OK RTS will uh, calculate the length of each line here for, for you in kilometers So, um, for now we are satisfied here, we can just close the attribute table. Um, now, as long as nothing is, is wrong or, or nothing needs to be done with these, this line layer, we can just leave it as, as it is. And um, now we can then, then actually create the so-called network dataset. So, we, before we can do that, we, we need to check the extensions that we have activated. Click the Customize menu and Extensions. And here to be, to be able to, to do things or use a network analyst, we, we, we have to uh, check the or activate the network analyst extension here. So if it looks like this here, the other one doesn't matter much here now at least, you can just click Close. Um, so, in the catalog window, find your uh, line layer or your line feature dataset. 
right click on it and choose new network dataset. If we have not uh, activated the, the network analyst extension, you would not see this option. So now we are OK. Just click. And RTIS suggests a, a, a name. It's, it um, uh, adds an underscore ND uh, to the name of the feature dataset. So if we are happy with that, we can just click Next. So now uh, we have the question, do you want to uh, model turns in this network? For simplicity, we just click no, we don't want that. Um, then we have an option to check the connectivity and it's not much to choose from here. So this is also something that we could just leave as it is. Click next. Uh, how would you like to model elevation in, uh, of your network features? In this case we, we 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 don't use elevation at all we just click or choose none or and click next now uh, we have the next page where uh, we could specify the attributes for the network data set and having um, a field with the name cost uh, it this the cost attribute will automatically appear here you could add and remove attributes here. We could check it also, just dub double click on it. And here we see that it uses the NV lines uh, layer. Uh, and uh, the cost is uh, the type field. And the field that it uses is, is the cost field. That's the one that we just created in the attribute ta table. So it takes the value from the cost field to um, use as an attribute val value in the network data set. And you, you have two rows here. You could, it's um, in both, di tra traveling in both di directions uh, in the network data set. So it's the same cost, of course, in this case at least. <laughs> if you, irrespective if you travel from there to there or from, or from there to back, so to speak. So this is also something, in this case, we can just leave. Click Next. Um, and here we have no option, really. It uh, is something about if you would like to establish driving directions. But this is not possible uh, in this simple case. Just click Next. And here we have a summary of your options. You can have a look if you, if you like. Otherwise, uh, just click Finish. And RTIS will ask you a few things in the network data set it has been created. Would you like to build it? Click yes. Um, do you want to, would like to add the feature classes to the map? Yes. So now we can hide these first uh, original um, data set or, or, or the source data set for the road line network here and we will end up with the new thing is that has been added here and here we have um, junctions here and these are the junctions between uh, the different parts of the roads so the dots uh, is the points where the roads connect to each other and then the other the other thing we have here is the actual road so called envy lines here. Um, the other thing we are going to use is this, um, or, or the next thing we are going to use is the network analyst toolbar. It is the, this one. I can remove it and show you how to uh, display it. You just right click on the gray area in the toolbar uh, uh, section in arc map here and you will see a uh, uh, quite a few different toolbars. So here we have the network analyst toolbar. So you have to just check this one and it will appear. And in this case, we only have one network data set to, to choose from here. Not, not, not much, but uh, enough in this case. And the next thing we do is choose what to do. And in this, this uh, introduction, we just choose then choose a new route and then we have another thing appearing oh, sorry 
appearing in the um, table of contents called root and in the root we have different different things we have stops here we also have point barriers uh, roots here line barriers and polygon barriers uh, keeping it as simple as possible um, we select stops and then in the network analyst toolbar we have a button called create network location tool so we click click on this one and we choose two locations for example one here and one here having two locations you could actually calculate the route the route that minimizes the cost uh, in the in the network well, that we do by just clicking this button the solve button like this and ArcGIS network analyst has now calculated the 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 network path with a minimum cost in this case uh, the shortest uh, network path from point one to point two and for demonstration sake we can choose this button that is a select slash move network location tool and we just click and drag this uh, number two locations here and click solve again and the network an analyst chooses another road from one to two um, what the network analyst do uh, if we choose to move the point again is to connect each point or, or the points in the network to, to the closest road so if we move, in clo move the point, point closer to this road it will take this road and if we move the point closer to this here it will take that Oops, so like that so this was a short introduction um, of how to start using the network analyst in GIS.